Hi friends, it's Valerie. Welcome back to this week's grocery haul. All right, so this is all from Albertsons. I picked up some Simply Lemonade. I got the raspberry and the blueberry. Those are both of our favorites. I was also needing some cold brew coffee. Um, and they're out of the Stoke. They've been out for a while at my store. So I just ended up getting this, this Starbucks one just until hopefully they get the Stoke back in or until I can go to another store that maybe has it. And then I grabbed this loaf of jalapeno cheddar bread and some everything bagels. Also grabbed some of these freebies because they're um, just these like little, I don't know, milks. They're shelf stable milks. They're freebies so I just picked them up. Um, I've got a lot of small little cereal cups to use up so I figured you know, I can throw that into a bag, like my boyfriend's bag with at work, and he loves cereal, so he can eat some of those cereal cups up with some of these little miniature milks, and then I grabbed a palm, pomegranate, peach, passion, white tea, that one is amazing. For some lunch meats again, I stocked up on these again. These are the Buttig Premium Delis. We enjoy them, and they are, they were free for me because, um, I had a five dollar off if you don't they would just be five dollars for five though using Ibotta um, because these were on sale two for four dollars making them two dollars each and then so if I bought five I spent ten dollars and then on Ibotta there's a dollar back up to five so it makes it only five dollars of course like I said mine was free because I had five, an additional five dollars off in store but um, I will leave a link or a code down below to use to check out I bought it if you're not already using that it really does help save some money then I picked up some of these Hillshire Farm snacking plates I like the salami and cheese one got some of my Nusa blueberry yogurts a, a Caesar salad kit I really like that that's like one of my favorite salad kits for Caesar and then I just got some spring mix a banana, a couple nectarines, zucchini, some mushrooms, and a bell pepper. Uh, they had these cheeses on sale, like, by five or, like, five participating items. You would save some amount of money. I don't know what it was, but I needed to restock on cheese anyways. So, um, I got Havarti, Provolone, Munster, Sharp Cheddar, and Colby Jack. And then from Grocery Outlet, I went ahead and grabbed some of this creamed corn. It is the Mackenzie's brand creamed corn. And I saw someone else on here from another YouTuber who does like cooking videos. They had made it once. I remembered it and I just like, I didn't even write it down. But like I saw it in the store and it reminded me that like, oh, I've seen this before and heard it was good. So I kind of wanted to try it. They only had one left. They were two for a dollar though. So I would have got more. Um... But that was the only one left and then i just got some of this bacon i've never tried this specific bacon but it was 99 cents so i figured i'd give it a try then i've been craving some of this stouffer's mac and cheese so i grabbed a thing of that and then i love the pioneer women garden vegetable sauce so while they still have it there for $1.99 i picked up about four of those there Okay, so I had to go back to the store to use up some coupons before the ads changed, but I needed to pick up a few things. I needed a 12 pack of Pepsi, so I grabbed that, and then these Nature Valley bars. Just grabbed a couple of the cashew, and then one of the Reese Puff Streets. They're like cereal bars, and then I was wanting some of the Milano dark chocolate cookies, so I grabbed some of those. A couple things of ramen. I really like these ones. They have like a little pouch inside that's like a like an oil I don't know but it's pretty good and then just restocking more on some tuna packets just get the lemon pepper that's the one we like the most just a couple things of my pickles I like that with my tuna packets if I'm taking it to go and then I grabbed some Tazo tea I really liked like this like um it's like a green tea with like lemongrass I really love the taste of the lemongrass so got another thing of that couple smart waters couple vitamin waters got some hamburger seasoning and some pesto also grabbed a thing of chicken broth some of my purely elizabeth ancient green pancake mix i really like that pancake mix and then i just picked up the cats some treats um one of my cats won't eat any hard treats and so she i like to get these tubes for her these things must have something in them because my cats go insane for these tubes. Um, 
yeah and I also just grabbed some tortilla chips I really like the organic oh organic white corn tortilla chips they're really thin and crispy and then I picked up some crab meat and a thing of eggs and then from grocery outlet I know this is from smart and final from smart and final I picked up some grapes and a couple zucchinis and a couple things of asparagus and then I just went to some targets and Walmarts and stores just looking for some Halloween decor there's not much of anything I don't know if it's the area I live in or if it's just most of things are gone or out or what but um, I went to Target first I was looking for, I went to several targets looking for things that I wanted but they didn't have mostly of anything, but I found some of these hide and eat blankets. They didn't have the designs I wanted, so I just grabbed these. I'm most likely going to keep the jack-o'-lantern one. It's probably the one that looks like it's going to bring the most like black and orange, which I'm trying to go for more black and orange. And then the spider one with the eek, I'm not sure if I'll keep, but I didn't want to miss out on it because I'll probably not find it again. And then my boyfriend just needed some of these like undershirts, so I got a thing of those. What else from Walmart? I got this 24 pack, 24 pack, 24 pocket over the door shoe organizer. I'm going to attempt, let's see if I can put this down. I'm gonna to attempt to cut this like down the middle and put like sticky hooks to hold them up in my pantry doors because like, my doors are kind of slim. So if I cut it down the middle, it might work. And I'm going to pre-organize small snacks in there that are ready to go. It's just gonna kind of give me some more space utilizing a space that I'm not really using up because I don't have a lot of space but if you have small kids or kids in general and you want them to specifically you know grab specific snacks you can definitely I think this is a great idea to just like organize what you want in each pouch and they can just grab them themselves or themselves and um yeah that seems great to me like I don't know I don't have kids but it seems like a good solution for you know them being able to just be self-sufficient enough to do that on their own and then uh this is from sam's club i i'm a big dallas cowboys fan but these were a great price so i thought i'd show you in case you're interested in something like that it's the can cooler and the slim can cooler and the two-pack was only like 15 dollars. they had different teams and you can find them on the sam's club website all the multiple teams i'm sure because they don't have them all in store and then I went to some Dollar Trees and 99 cent stores looking for some things. Not much going on there, but I found this metal, like, thankful truck sign. I love the, like, the blue and the blue-green colors. So I like that it was metal and not that cardboard material, so I might try to make, like, a wreath using this in the center. If I do, I'll show you guys the process of that. And I saw this cute little sign. It says, Witch Please. And it has little witch feet and it's so cute it's a little bit damaged as you can see in that corner but I'll probably just get some craft paint they have 50 cent orange craft paint at Walmart and fix it up I might remove the bow I'm not really a huge fan of the bow but because I love witch things and this was so inexpensive I just adored these little witch feet so I had to get that my boyfriend grabbed these do y'all remember? I rarely see these anymore, I feel like, but they're like, I felt like our grandmas always had like the blue tin of these like cookies. So we saw them and he loves them, but we haven't had them in like probably forever. Like it's been like a good 15 years for me. So he grabbed some of those. And then this was my favorite find. I really did not need another cup. Y'all, I really, really didn't need another cup, but it's so cute it's got these black cats on it they look adorable I love cats and then how cute is that like lid like it's cat ears and for a dollar I could not beat that it didn't have a price tag on it or like it didn't come up price so it could have been like maybe up to two dollars because some of the more plain ones were a dollar so I'm not certain that it was a dollar but they gave it to me for a dollar and I was also on the mad hunt for these Ioni lashes. Uh, I've seen the, lots of people on like TikTok and social media just like buying them because look at them. They look beautiful. The quality seems amazing. And for $1, like they're handmade and like I believe they're vegan as well. Well, yeah, something like that. I'm pretty sure they're vegan. Cruelty free. 
yeah so one dollar you can't beat that but finding them is a whole different story so I went to a couple stores and only found one store having some so I just grabbed these three here to play around with for such a cheap price that's really great all right so here is my meal plan for the week I did edit this meal plan to put Sunday at the top because that's just the day that I start my meals considering that I edit on Saturday and the video comes out Sunday that's just like the end of my like food week on Saturday so Sunday I put some cream cheese pesto chicken Monday we're just gonna have some pizza while we watch football and Tuesday is going to be some chicken meatballs and some garlic butter pasta. Then Wednesday we're having grilled fajita hot dogs. Thursday we'll have some Trader Joe's orange chicken or mandarin chicken. And then some rice and broccoli, just keeping it simple. Friday I'm leaving open because we will be at Universal Studios for Halloween Horror Nights. So I'm not going to be cooking that night. And then Saturday we're just going to, I'm just going to make like, menu though because it's just been sounding good i'm just doing it from the can though and we like that one it's really good so uh these are the list of groceries that i need i don't need much thankfully i don't need much meat at all right now my freezer is stocked and i am trying to work through it and i will only be restocking like as i find a good deal and then so hopefully there's some good deals before i run out if not i just have to restock however and so I just need some pesto, hot dog buns, some of the peppers that are going to be for those grilled fajita dogs, and some onion, flour, tortillas, and cilantro. I have most of the pantry staples for all these things, and I'm also trying to use up some things that I have to get rid of. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that little bell so you don't miss out on any future videos, and I hope you all are having an amazing day.